Welcome to Programming with C++. Today we'll be studying the remaining tokens that is variables, constants, punctuators and operators. Let us start off with variables. Variables are meaningful name given to data storage location of a computer memory. Variables are nothing but identifiers which are used to identify the location where a certain value is stored in the computer memory. In reality, they represent the memory location in which they are stored. Syntax is data type followed by variable name list followed by semicolon. Example is int space a semicolon. Int is the data type. There are few more variables like integer variables, floating point variables and character variables. They denote the value which they hold. Like a and b are of type integer. Ns are called as integer variables. Similarly, we have float c and character d. Next token is constant. Constant are identifiers whose value do not change. They remain the same during the execution of the program unless we again change the value of a constant. Otherwise, once we assign a value to a constant, until the end of the program it remains the same. They are referred to as literals. Constants are also called as literals. Constants are of types. That is numeric constant and character constant. Again, numeric constants are of two types, integer constant and real constant. Real is nothing but floating point constant. And then we have character constant, which is a character or a string. In this example, let us see, integer constant, we have taken a equals to 10. a holds the value 10. Hence, in the program, it remains the same. Floating point constants are b equals to 1.23. It holds a floating point value. Character constant C equals to A. A is enclosed within a single quote. String constant is D equals to hello. Enclosed within a double quote. Strings are enclosed in double quotes and character is enclosed in single quote. Next, escape sequence are also called as special character constants. The character constants are having something special. They are called as an escape sequence. They start with a backslash like it's followed by a character. First, we have a backslash followed by a character and they are called as escape sequence. Let us see a few examples. In a program, if you have something like this, it is called a null or end of a string, which is backslash followed by a zero. Next, you can have even a new line sequence in which the pointer would shift to the next line. Or slash followed by t, which is in horizontal tab, a space is there. And then you have similarly vertical tab backspace and carriage return next let us go to punctuators which is the fifth type of token punctuators are symbols used as separators in the program you can use them as separator examples you have brackets parenthesis braces comma semicolon colon and asterisk here there is a small program let us see how do we use these punctuators like when you enter the main program we have two yellow braces bra i mean braces that declares that this is a separate block and within that for this if condition if min greater than b we have taken in that these two lines which is min equals to b and c out all is coming under one separate thing so that is how you can separate one block from the other similarly int a equals to 30 and b equals to 20 are two constants in which we are separated by a comma and then end of every line is a semicolon i think you can see in these lines so these all act as punctuators in the program. Let us go to operators. Operators are symbols representing particular operation or computation, which gives an output. When Once you perform an operation, it will obviously give an output. And it is applied to variables and constants called as operands. So between, between two operands, you have an operator. There are many types of operators. Example, arithmetic operator, relational, assignment, logical, unary, conditional, short and bitwise and there are other operators as well. Let us go through them one by one with examples. First, arithmetic operator. Supports various operators for both floating point and integer number. Few arithmetic operators are addition, which is a plus sign, subtraction, which is a minus sign, multiplication, which is an asterisk, division, and a modulus. I think you'll be knowing about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Something new is a modulus. Let us see what is a modulus. Modulus returns remainder. 
example if you have 7 mod 2 the remainder is 1 hence 7 mod 2 the answer will be 1 that is a modulus operator next kind of operator is relational operator relational operator compares two values it's used for comparing two value either one value is greater than the other or some comparisons will go on like few comparing values i mean few comparing operators are greater than greater than or equal to lesser than lesser than or equal to or equal to equal to and not equal to next we have assignment operator assignment operator is assigning a value to a constant or an expression to another variable the syntax is variable equals to value or an expression either you can assign a value to a variable or an expression in this example here we have num equals to 20 where num was given the value is 20 and here you have num equals to 3 plus 2 into 6 here it follows the board mass rule that is first you'll perform 2 into 6 which is 12 then you add 3 to it that becomes 15 and always which has to be noted is the one on the right side is put to the left that is here you have the arrow mark right num equals to 20 so 20 is stored to number it's like that and you can find the difference between equal to and double equal to that is if there is one single equal to which is an assignment operator that is we write a equals to 10 no you just assign 10 to a and then double equal to is in relational operator that is we check if the one on the lhs is equal to one on the rhs here if a is 10 and you check if a is equal to equal to 10 it will return true else if you check a equals to 20 it will return false next type of operator is a logical operator the action depends on output of multiple condition it returns int value 1 for true and 0 for false there are many logical operators let us see a few of them one is logical and which is two ampersand symbol and then logical or and then you have logical negation which is also logical not next type of operator is a unary operator which act on one data element which is an increment or a decrement here you have two types of increment or decrement either it can be post or pre if for example we have a equals to 2 we have b equals to a plus plus which means first like b is equal to 2 you'll get and then you'll get a equals to 3 that is it is a post increment you increment a after assigning it to b but there is pre increment as well here b equals to plus plus a you'll have first you'll increment a and then assign it hence both the values are 3 next you have conditional operator which act on three data elements and the operator is a question mark followed by a colon the syntax is condition question mark followed by expression 1 colon expression 2 if expression if the condition is true expression 1 is the answer else expression 2 here you have largest equals to number 1 greater than number 2 if the largest is number 1 greater than number 2 is true then the largest is number 1 else it is number 2 here largest is 9 greater than 11 is 9 greater than 11 no it's false hence the answer is 11 largest of 9 and 11 is 11 next type of operator is a shorthand operator it is used to simplify coding of assignment operator the syntax is variable operator equal to variable let us see an example instead of writing a equals to a plus b you can write it as a plus equal to b because both are equivalent similarly instead of writing a equals to a into b we can write it as a into equal to b both perform the same operation hence it is called as in shorthand operator next type of operator is a bitwise operator it is used in individual bits of memory location we have bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor ones complement bit shift left and bit shift right bitwise and is and of two numbers bitwise or is or of two numbers and xor is similarly the xor of two numbers ones complement is something different let us take an example if a is one one zero zero ones complement will be the complement of that instead of 1 you'll have a 0 and instead of 0 you'll have a 1 hence 1100 0, 0 changed to 0011 0, 1, 1. and then if you have a bit shift left that is for a equals to 1100 0, 0, you shift the elements towards the left the arrow mark is pointing right hence once you shift it twice you add two zeros onto its right by shifting the element towards its left similarly you have bit shift left that is shifting the number towards its right by adding zeros on its left next is the other operator 
Other operators are the scope resolution operator. It is used to qualify hidden names. For example, in the small program segment, let us see. First, we have int count equals to 0. That is a global count. Once we enter the main, you again declare int count equals to 0, which is a local count. And then, once you want to increment this count, you will have to use a scope resolution operator. That is 2 semicolon, I mean 2 colons. And then here you have count equals to 2. This is to increment the local count to 2. Thank you.